Okay, everybody, let's see what we can find out. What's cool coming out from Boom Studios. This is everything for April. Some of these I go through, some of these I don't. But I said, you know what? I'm going to try to go through this whole book this time. Not all of it. I'm going to find different things. But Boom Studios, there's a few other ones I want to look at too. But let's see what's going on with Boom right now. Alice Ever After, number one of five. That's a cool cover there. This looked interesting. We're going to see Dan Pinocean is writing it. And everything. And Giorgio. Giorgio Spalletta. Uh, is doing the illustrations. He's doing all, see all the different covers. Judy Verson is doing one. That looks cool. Adam Hughes, Dan Panosian. Just a second. All right, let's see what's going on. It's um, April 6th. This should be out. A Darkly Surreal Alice in Wonderland sequel for fans of Mirka and Dolphal's Mercy and Luna. Return to Wonderland in this twisted sequel by superstar artist and writer Dan Panosian. Ooh, perfect for fans of Mirka and Dolphal's Mercy and Luna. Alice first visited Wonderland as a child. Now an adult, it's her only escape from cold, strange reality. From a cold, strange reality she finds herself living in. Oh, man. But in order to return to her fantasy world, she'll need something stronger than mushrooms that changed her size and is forced to resort to crime to feed her growing addiction. Wow. Will Alice choose to escape from her uncaring family and childhood trauma in Wonderland or find the courage to face her demons in the real world? Wow. All right, then we got some designs here. All different people in the book. Very cool. Wow, look at the, the wow, the creatures look, wow. Pretty scary. Man. Okay. Now we got the Vampire Slayer number one. There's the cover there. Jim in a month. Sarah Gailey is going to be doing the writing. Okay. April 13th. A new Slayer. A new creative team. A new era. A bold new story in a new universe begins, courtesy of Hugo Award. Winning author Sarah Gailey. Okay. Irene Flores is going to be doing the art. After years of fighting against the forces of evil, Buffy some Summers finds herself succumbing to the burden of bearing the Slayer mantle. Okay. And there's, I think these are variant covers here. There's one. There's another one there. Incentives. Sometimes the incentives aren't really incentive. I mean, you, I wouldn't pay a little bit extra money for that because I, I don't like that as much. Everything. But this one's cool. Look at all the detail in the books. All right. Now we got this one here. Is this a vamp yeah, vampire? <laughs> so I don't know if this goes with this one or what, but it Mike DeMundo. So now we got Angel number four of eight. Christopher Cantwell. I remember seeing the very first movie in it and everything, but um, and it led to the the show and everything. But I never really got into the show before. I knew a lot of people, a lot of friends and everything were into it though. So April twentieth for this and everything. So here's a variant down here. So we got, what is the true identity of the evil entity residing in the spirit house? A traumatized, a traumatized Oz is discovered living upstairs in the hotel, kept secret and safe by Lorne. Oz delivers a grave warning of a great evil drawing near, one with the power to annihilate not just our universe, but every universe in existence. Wow, it's going to go that far. Hmm. So if you like this book... Pick that one up. You like the story. Now we got all new Firefly. Remember the movie? This was good. Number three, it says. David M. Boer is going to be doing the uh, writing. Everything. There's a cover there. And we got variant covers over here. Okay. April 27th. This one comes out. 
I like the movie and it, it's just the, the acting and everything. It just I thought the movie and everything and then some of the C TV's series and stuff. Of, okay, there we go with um, following the events at the monastery. Jane is held hostage by the mysterious and dangerous criminal known only as the tax collector. All right. Now we got Firefly Return to the to Earth. That was that was Volume Three. I have to go watch the movie again and everything just to catch up what was going on and stuff. I really liked it. Everything and I, and I can't remember the series too much, but I remember watching some of the stuff. Okay, Spotlight on this one here. Advanced solicit. This will be June. Greg Pack is going to be writing this one. June 8th. Well, this is a trade paperback. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Superstar. Scribe Greg Pack. Pack's definitive three-year Firefly run comes to an epic conclusion in this final collected edition. Let me see. But in this thrilling conclusion, the crew of the Serenity rally to pull together the struggling community that they found themselves protecting. Hmm. Now we got the House of Slaughter, Volume One. Spotlight on this one's a soft cover. Comes out June. There's a cover there. I'm trying to remember if I got. I think I got the metallic cover of this one. Everything. So this is June 15th. James Tenian the fourth, along with Tate Bromball. Bromball. Okay. The first collection of the best-selling expansion of the world of something is killing the Trojan is here. Learn the secret history of the order that forged Erica into the monster hunter she is today, and learn the tragic backstory of her handler and rival, Aaron Slaughter. Clicks House of Slaughter 1 through 5. Cool. We got some artwork here. It started off pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep collecting it, though. Everything. But um, I wish I would have got all the issues of um, the first one. Let's see what goes on with that one. Okay, Something is Killing the Trojan, number 22. Certified cool, James Tenney and the fourth. There's a cover there. There's a variant here. Incentive cover. Cool. I'm still not even sure what's killing the children. I can't remember from seeing everything. I didn't go through any of the books, so I'm not sure. So it'll be like if I ever read it and get a trade paperback, it'll be new to me. And Jenny Frisson, I like she's doing a die cut mask cover. Ooh, cool. April 27th. And this is supposed to be a movie. I want, when's it going to come out? Is it going to be like HBO, uh, Netflix? What? I'm not sure. Outside London, the shadowy figure on Erica's trail relays information to their enigmatic superior about the rogue agent in the House of Slaughter. All right. Let's see. Now we got Magic, the Hidden Planeswalker, number one of four. Spotlight on. Is it Merg? Merg Reed Scott. I forgot, forgot how to pronounce all the different names. Break it down. There's a cover there. April 20th for this one. And fan favorite Liliana Vess takes center stage. Delve even deeper into the, the Magic the Gathering universe with comic and screenwriter Meryl Grieg Scott. That's got to be a better way to say. Yeah. Okay. While our heroes have many dangers to face throughout the multiverse, the powerful necromancer Lillian Vess returns to her new home as a professor at the greatest college of magic in the multiverse. Cool. These are variants here. You got the monster variant. Wow. These are cool. And she's petting the purple glowing dog. I'm scratching him under the chin. Magic number 13. Certified cool. Jed McKay. Cool cover. Lots going on there. Explosions or something or just bright light? And we got a variant down here. Cool. 
So this comes out April 6th, so it should be out. And Zendikar, Tomb Raiding and Death Defying Adventures Await as our three heroes finally learn to work as a team with Chandra Nalor as the unexpected and reluctant leader. Okay, Power Rangers Universe number five of six. These are cool. I saw a lot of these books that are Ollie's today when I went through. Got a lot of um, Power Rangers stuff. I like the ones when they glow, and I like, I remember the ones when they came out with just all the helmets, and they were holding the helmets on the covers. I thought those were so cool when I grabbed them. Mo as many as I could get of each one. I didn't want, I didn't get multiples, but I wanted to get at least one of each one of them. I don't have them all, though, but they were cool. I like the ones when they had the turtles holding them as well, but they got you because each helmet was held by each turtle. So that's like four covers, and there's what, how many, four or five of these guys? So it was like, that's a lot of books. Nicole Andelfinger. Okay, April 27th. On the Master Forge, the legendary ranger teens and Morphonaut feel the aftershock of the smoking crater on Earth's surface. There's some variants down here. That's cool with the all black cover. Like stuff like that. And you can just see he's all black and you just see the white. They did that a lot of, like with um kind of like abstract stuff. They did that with uh, Spider-Man a lot, which is cool. Okay, now we got Mighty Morphin. See, they keep changing. Look at this. Mighty Morphin and this one over here is Power Rangers. So this is Mighty Morphin number 18, Matthew Groom. That's a cool cover. There's like six of them. Okay. And there's a variant down there. April 13th for this one. Enyuk Lee, I think this would be, is this Enyuk? Yeah, right here. I don't know how he does it, that's cool. With the combined forces, or with the combined efforts of Promethea and the Zorge protecting the power chamber, Rocky, the Red Ranger, and Matt, the Green Ranger, wait in tense anticip anticipation for the return of the away team. Cool. Now this is Power Rangers number 18, Ryan Parrott. Cool cover. This comes out April 20th. You see there's a variant down here. The Omega Rangers take a big risk splitting up after receiving separate distress calls from two distant planets. All right. Now if you if you read these, you know what's going on. I don't know, I have any idea what's going on. Some of them I might pick up for number one issues and stuff like that. Maybe I'll even grab one just to see what's going on with it and see if I like it because I like team books and stuff like that too now this is Mighty Morphin Volume 4 soft cover it's advanced solicit comes out June 20, 2022 comes out June 22nd right here so Ryan Parrott is doing it and this is a very cool cover okay the true evil behind the Imperials Imperials revealed wow Discover the power behind the Inf Imperials, fracturing the Power Rangers like you've never seen before as they mourn the loss of one of their own. Man, it collects issues 13 through 16. Now we got Seven Secrets, number 16. Comes out April 13th from Tom Taylor. Cool. In the wake of an unthinkable tragedy, the Seekers find themselves capturing more and more cases. Now we got Basculus, Volume 2, soft cover, Cullen Bunn. Advanced Solicit. So this comes out in June. This is June uh, 29th. It's going to be come out. When one sense is lost, the others grow stronger. Okay, against vicious odds, Hannah completes the first step in revenge against the Chimera with deadly results. Wow. Okay, now we got Faithless 3, number 3 of 6, Brian Azzarello. There's the cover there. Cool. Blue and green and pink. There's a variant down there. I like that one better. April 20th. Okay, what is this? Continue your journey into the final chapter 
of Azzarello and Lovett's erotic masterpiece. Okay, Faith realizes that Poppy and Lewis have been hiding the dark secret from her, and when Lewis appears with a mysterious bundle, Faith's entire world will be shaken to, to its core. Wow. The Realist. Last Day on Earth. Hardcover. Spotlight on it. Comes out June two, 2022. And it comes out June 22nd. Asaf or Asaf Hanukkah. That's a wild cover. Trying to build himself up, and he's got this nut inside him, breaking it all down. Kind of like what your mind can do to you sometimes. You know, you beat yourself up sometimes, so don't do that. The Eisner Award winning series returns. Okay. Hanukkah's rich storytelling blends humor and pathos to deliver a nuanced and moving portrait of self, family, and society. Wow. Okay, now we got Jim Henson's The Storyteller, Shapeshifters, number two of four. Cool. Darcy Little Badger is written by that. Written by Darcy Little Badger. April 6th, so it should be out. Then we got a variant down here. Okay. Experience the moving tale of a Lippin Apache girl named Rose through four pivotal stages in her life, from a lonely child to a ballet prodigy, her struggles as an adult, and finally her time as an older woman. Wow. The Killer, Affairs of the State, number three of six, written by Mats. All right, glowing cover. Pretty bright. That's cool. The incentive cover is kind of cool. Okay. April 27th. The game has changed. A key player has been knocked off of the board for good, and the killer finds himself in the midst of an escalating crisis. All right. Now we got one last one here Buckhead. Number five of five. Now, one final issue. It's a near, near, different name. Shobo is the writer. Okay. There's a variant down here. Got a big sword there. Comes out April 6th. Toba and his friends have split up. He's entered the, El the Elseverse in search of his father, while the rest of the group works to take down the mind control device threatening all of Buckhead. Buckhead with a B, you can see. Wow. All right, let me see if I can find add something else to this. Okay, we got some stuff from a blaze. Let's go through this and pick up some of the ones just to add to it. it he who fights with monsters. I remember the first issues from this. This looks like it's a trade, I think, now. Cool. It's phenomenal. James Tinian likes it. All of, on All Hallows' Eve, a community struggles under the boot of the Nazi war machine when supernatural forces come to play a part in the conflict. Oh, man. Let me see. The Sumerian, Hour of the Dragon, number two. Okay, now we got more covers right here. It looks like Wonder Woman. There's Conan, kind of like, but it's not. Cow Hot's awesome cover. We got here's a cool cover here too. So this one's gonna be Robert E. Howard's Conan is brought to life uncensored, it says. Discover the true Conan, unrestrained, violent, and sexual. Read the story as he intended. Wow. So that's what you get for that one. This is Life Zero, number three. And we got some variants down here. They look kind of like homages to uh like a Spider-Man first appearance Punisher thing in this one. This is when I think Rogue is back here and Wolverine's running here. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure what that one is. Cool covers. Parody, they still call them. Use this code to preview issue number three. That's cool. I guess you can pause it and put your phone on there 
and take a picture of your phone. I've been doing that with a lot of different stuff lately with work and other places you shine that on there or show that on in the camera will send you to the website. Just tap on the tap on it when it shows up. Let's see. Um, the team makes their way through the city in search of Derek and Laura's daughter, but finding themselves surrounded by the infected puts their lives and their unit cohesion at risk. Can they hold it together long enough to save an innocent life? So cool. Like I said, well, yeah, when you when you do this like this one too, when you hold your camera up to it, you know how it is. If you've done it before, it'll automatically go to a, show a box and then go to the website and you just tap on that and go right to the website. It'll be cool to see a preview of it. This is Animal Castle. I've got the first few issues of this. I, I start reading it. It looks pretty good. I just got to get to finishing it because I, I read um, Cloaked. Man, that was different. I have to go through. I need to do a flip through of it because it, it started out. I thought it was going to be cool. And as it went on, I'm like, what is going on here? And I'm like, and the way it ended, I'm like, man, wow. So it, it had a different ending than completely what I expected. So, okay, Animal Castle number five. Okay, let's see. We go down through here. There's a code for this one, too. They got all of these. So, um, trying to gain equality in the castle has been costly for the animals. But losing sight of the end goal and doing things the proper way will cost them even more. Wow. So there's this one. You can uh, you can pause it there if you want to for the preview of Animal Castle. Okay, gonna, I'm going to move it. This one's for Life Zero. So I'm going to move it now. This one's for He Who Fights Monsters. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it. This one's for The Sumerian. If you want to look at that. Okay, I'm going to move that. Let's see what else they got in here. Let me pause it and try to find something else. Okay, we got some Aftershock stuff here. Kaiju Score. Steal from the Gods, number one. New series. James Patrick is going to be writing that. Michelle is back. She has her own crew, and she's making her own rules. Unfortunately, her tendency for getting into hot water still remains. And her involvement in that now infamous job in Florida, known as the Kaiju Score, is haunting her in many different ways. Oh, boy. So, comes out April 13th. Now we got some variant covers here. Wow. Is that, that looks like the guy off of um, One Punch Man, the big purple dude that he fought. Look at that. There's some artwork there. And some more artwork here. Cool. Okay, let's see what else they got. This is Midnight Rose, one shot. Jim Stalin's writing this one. There's a variant or a main cover there. Looks more adult oriented. April 13th, it's horror. And here's more artwork there for covers. And there's Jim Stalin. I don't think I've ever met him. I never got to meet him yet. And there's the artist, Nicole. 64 page, perfect bound, one shock from the mind of Jim Starlin. A particularly bizarre tale of loneliness, love, and what happens when you can't help but give in to the vengeance growing deep within yourself. <laughs> All right. Now we got the naughty list, number one. This is a new series. Okay, what is he about? April 27th. Holiday crime. <laughs> There's some more variants over here, more artwork. I still have yet to watch that movie, uh, Nobody. Everything. It's pretty cool, like when the guy talks about he's going after uh, the guys that uh, took his daughter's uh, stuffed animal or something like that. Nick Santor. I had a family once, a wife who loved me, a child we loved together. That's all gone now been gone for hundreds of years all because of that dang star my name it depends on where you live some call me Chris Kringle others Papa Noel 
But my real name is <laughs> Nicholas Sinterklaas. What? And this is the story of what happens when you steal my naughty list. Wait a minute. Up on the house talk, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with old Saint Nick. What in the world? So is this going to be Santa Claus? This might be something I might pick up. See, something different like that. Not when they turn it and like make it just sick, but something different. So I don't, but I don't know what they're going to do. Look at it. He's got blood on there. So maybe he, he's going after people. But who took his naughty list to make him this mad to go off him after him with some, um, what you, the uh, fireplace hook poker and everything? Oh boy. So here we go. What's this? There's some artwork here. There's some more artwork there. We'll have to see what that's about. That's interesting. That's intriguing to me. Okay, The Ocean Will Take Us, number one. A new series. Okay, this is Rick Dwork. Dwick. Okay. You're looking in the water. This comes out April 6th, horror adventure. A lot of horror stuff coming out. Okay, here's more pictures. More artwork. Uh-oh. Whatever that is. And some artwork down here. A little cartoony, but looks a little realistic, too. Not realistic, but, you know, just drawn with all the detail. Look at that. Okay. Something's lurking in the waters of Almanzar Bay. And when Casey March tries out for the swim team, he learns firsthand that messing with the social order of his new high school can have dangerous, even deadly consequences. Oh boy, we'll see what that's going to be about. Hmm, number one. Now we got the We Live, Age of the Pal Paladians, number two. The Miranda Brothers are writing it. Okay, here's the cover. That looks cool. Comes out April 20th, a sci-fi adventure. Okay, Tim has run, time has run out. The shield protecting Megalopolis, number nine, can fall at any moment. The future of the population is in the hands of the Palladians and the reconnection team who, came across, who come across an unexpected obstacle that can only be solved by spilling blood, the blood of an old friend. What? All right, and we got a variant down here. Okay. Trading cards. We live. Age of the Palladians collectible trading cards. Cool. Now we got the lion and the eagle, number three. Cool cover. This comes out April 27th. War period, it says. Oversized prestige format miniseries from the mind of Garth Ennis. Stuck on the desolate hill in the in the jungle, surrounded and outnumbered by Japanese forces, the British dig in for the long haul, but events elsewhere conspire to rob them of supplies and resources they so desperately need. Oh man! Okay, now we got Land of the Living Gods, number three. Isaac Mag Magazine. That's different. It comes out. It's fantasy. It comes out. April 20th, after selling Naledi and Shandu's witch for his ritual sacrifice, Kalo grows tormented by memories of her past and the betrayals that she herself suffers as a child. Okay. Now we got Bylines in Blood, number four. Eric Schultz and Van Jensen. Comes out April 27th. All right, Long Shadow, Mystery Norn Sci-Fi. Each issue of Bylines and Blood features 24 pages of story and art with the, with the cardstock cover, okay? Our fearless private detective, Satya, is now public enemy number one, framed for a murder she didn't commit. She'll need to outrun the police before she can force a final confrontation with Denzin's murderer. Man, Dark Arc, the complete series hardcover, that's cool. May 4th it comes out, 60 bucks, 456 pages. Colin Bunn is doing that. Juan Do and Jesus Hervas doing the art. Cool. 
This volume is on sale on May 4th, 2022. The wickedness of mankind has moved the Creator to destroy the world by way of flood. Noah has been asked or tasked with building an ark to save his family and the animals of the world. But this is not Noah's story, for darker powers have commanded the sorcerer Shrey to build his own ark and save the unnatural creatures of the world, such as the vampires, the dragons, and the manticore. Wow. But what will happen on a vessel crawling with monsters where, where insidious intrigue and horrific violence are the rule of law? Wow. Now we got this last one. I think these last ones. I'll go real quick with this one. Chicken Devil Volume 1 Trade Paperback. Comes out May 11th. Brian Bucalato. Cross the Bear Number 1. Or Trade Paperback. May 18th. That's what that's coming out. Issues 1 through 5 of that one. This one's issues one through four. Then we have Dark Humor. All these different books here coming out from them. Casual Score. The Man Who Effed Up Time. Jimmy's. All that. Patience, Conviction, Revenge. Shoplifters Will Be liqu Liquidated. Hot Lunch. Midnight Vista. Okay. That'll be it with that one. Let me know what you think of these. There's a lot of good books coming out. Some stuff I've seen. I've seen a lot of this at Half Price Books. But let me know what you think. You guys have a great day. And Collector Dude is out.